All right, guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about partials. Now, partials are actually really awesome. And what they are is it's a way that you can include little snippets of CSS into other SAS files. So if you have a bunch of different files that you want to include in your main one, then you can set up your project that way. And I'll show you guys why this is useful right now. So I took everything out from the last tutorial. So this is my website right now. And let's say that we're making a social network and we want to work on the profile page. So this is the profile page. I'll change the uh, title to profile. And what do I need on my profile page? Well, a beautiful image of me, of course. So image, and we'll just give it a class that we'll design later on. So class will equal, um, let's call it like profile image and I don't know maybe we're gonna add a border around this later and like make it circular or something whatever we decide to do and for the source I already have a link and this is just my profile image copied and might as well add my name at the bottom so Bucky Roberts all right so let's refresh this now and so <laughs> Here is our beautiful profile page, clearly going to be the next big social network. Look how beautiful this is. All right, so let's hop back in our project and think about how we want to set up our styling. So we know that we're going to have a lot of CSS, of course, because we're making an entire social network. Now, we don't want to include every single rule, every single property in this one main file right here. Now, what we can do instead is we can actually group similar CSS into separate files. So for example, we're going to make a file and all of our CSS for the profile page is going to go in one file. All of uh, the CSS for the video player is going to go in another file. And that way we get to organize it a lot better. So anytime you want to do that, let's just hit new file and take note of the naming convention. Whenever you're going to make a file just to include in another file, start it out with an underscore. This is a little indicator to SCSS that says, hey, you're not going to include this in like any HTML. You're just going to include it in other SCSS files or SAS files such as main.sas. And when I say SAS, I'm just going to say instead of SCSS because I don't know, it's just easier to say. So I'm just going to hit profile.sas and hit OK. And now we can start typing all of our profile page code or profile page styling right here. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we actually have the class profile image. And let me just change the height and width of this. So since that's a class, I'll do that. And I'll actually change the border radius too. So border radius equals, let's just do 999 pixels. So it's perfectly round. And for the height, I'll just do 200 pixels. And same thing for the width. So it's perfectly circular. So 200 pixels. And what's one other thing I can do? Let me add a border around this image as well. So border up to like five pixels, solid, sea green. All right, so now, Whenever we apply this class to the image, it should be perfect, perfectly circular and have a thick green border. It's gonna look pretty ugly, but oh well. So what we're gonna do is since we're gonna have a bunch of pages, we only have one right now, but eventually we're gonna have profile, forum, videos, about, photos, all of these different pages. We're gonna include them all in this main SAS file right here. So how do we include this file right here? Well, all we do whenever we want to include another SAS file is we just use the symbol at and then type the word import. This means, hey, I want to bring another file in or include another file. Now, you know how our file was named underscore profile.scss? Well, whenever we're importing it, you don't add the underscore at the beginning and you don't add the extension at the end. All you do is you type the raw name of the file, such as profile, and it already knows to fill in the rest of it. All of these other things are just indicators to either your operating system or SAS to let it know what kind of file it is. You don't need it when actually when you're actually writing the SAS. So we now essentially behind the scenes took all of this, copied it, and pasted it right there. 
So now we can, you know, add our main styling for the website. So let's say on our website, we want uh, the font size to be like 24 pixels. So font size 24 pixels and boom, there you go. So this is how people typically set up their main website or their overall structure. They have a bunch of different files and usually they have one file per page, per web page. I see that a lot and your main overall styling. So for example, if you want like Cosmic Sans on the entire website, then you can apply those in the main CSS file. Now take note that we're only linking to the main CSS file. So I'll show you guys in a second what's going on. So that all worked looking good. Now we're not linking to the main CSS file and profile CSS. We're only linking to this right here. But since we imported profile, then this is what it compiled to. You see, this is main.css, the actual CSS. It brought in this other file, profile.css or SAS, and also included all of the generic code for your website as well. So you can imagine that instead of you know having tens and thousands of lines of one file, Instead, we can just have a couple import statements and it allows you to organize your entire website a whole lot easier. So there you go. That's what a parcel is. Basically a little snippet of code that you can include in other files. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. See you guys in the next video.